Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Hales, and I make videos about the books that I'm reading. So today, I am going to be doing my Christmas book haul. So these are all the books that I got for Christmas, and I am so excited to read them and to get to talk about them. So here we go. So I'm going to start out with these little Disney books that I got. My mom and I were in Copenhagen like two months ago and she found these little, um, they're just, you, you just tiny little books that cover the story. So this one's Peter Pan. And then I also have Aladdin and I have the Fox and the Hound. Um, she found these downstairs at a bookstore that we stopped into because I had to go to a bookstore while I was over there and get like UK editions of books. I found a Dutch version of Twilight that I hauled recently and showed off. I was very excited about that. Um, but she found these as well and she showed me a couple of them, but the Fox and the Hound one, she did not show me and said that when I went over to look at all of the little books, she was like, please don't let her see it. Um, and it was the best surprise because The Fox and the Hound is my favorite. I don't know how I wanna do this next section because I have just a giant box of <laughs> books. So I might just hold them up and just continue to pull them out. So I have the second horror, where do I put them all though? Um, I have the snowman, night games. Yeah, I ha yeah, there are so many. Uh, Dance of Death, The Surprise Party, Secret Admirer, this is, yeah. Uh, the Secret, that is the secret, yeah, okay. Uh, I have The Overnight, I have Missing, The Best Friend, Daughters of Silence, I have Wrong Number Two, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna, I have The Sign of Fear, I have Children of Fear, and I have The Awakening Evil. And then I have I Saw You That Night. This is just random R.L. Stein. It's not Point Horror and it's not Fear Street. Um, I have Dead End and I have The Dead Lifeguard. So that was super exciting. Um, I technically I got these months ago. And I like I sold the duplicates that I already have because I am slowly but surely working on getting all of the Fear Street books. So that was awesome. And I'm really excited to have especially like the sagas because I love the sagas and actually going more of a deep dive into the Fear family. And then I think I'm going to do this box kind of the same way, but it's not as bad. I have um, Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark. I have Bloody Heart. Brutal Prince. These are a little bit harder to pull out of the box though. Broken Bow. I think this one was probably my favorite out of the series. Then I have, I am dropping everything, um, Stolen Air and Savage Lover. I set the box on my lap and it clicked off my camera with the remote. Um, so I have as well Stolen Air and Savage Lover. And as I was, oh no, that's not good. Okay, um, as I was saying, when I was not recording, and I thought I was, um, the Bloom editions for that series, they're changing the cover font and I don't like it. It's 
not my favorite. I don't think it looks very good. Um, so I ordered all those months ago and my mom just got them for me for Christmas. So I've, they've been in a box just waiting for Christmas. Um, but I am really excited because I have as well the like spin-off series with the kids and the covers are very similar and it's the same font and I wanted to make sure that they all matched. So they do now that I have the whole series, all of them. So that's exciting. I'm happy to have them matching and have the pretty font on the book cover. So that's nice. And then the last four, I have Powerless by Elsie Silver. I have Reckless. I'm sure you can see where this is going. Uh, I have Heartless and I have Hopeless. And these are the mirror covers that are just absolutely gorgeous, so stunning. I'm still trying to find Flawless because I missed the cutoff to get that months ago. Um, had a lot going on. So trying to find that, but I got the last four. So that's exciting. They're so pretty. Some of the prettiest covers that I've ever seen. I am obsessed with them. I am so excited to go through the Sophie Lark books because they're also illustrated. Um, I definitely cannot show those on camera because they are, they are spicy. Uh, but I'm excited to go through and look at those because I didn't when they came in the mail months ago. So that's really exciting. Um, they were in the eBooks, I believe. Um, I know they were in Broken Bow, I think. They were in that eBook. So I was, I'd, be reading and come across a picture but I don't remember them being in the rest of the books. I read the rest of the books months ago. Actually I think I read them last year. Uh, we are still in December when I'm filming this but I believe that I read them in 2022 and I don't know if the ebooks were the illustrated editions. I don't remember them being that way. So I'm excited to go through and see all the art in the books. And then I think with some of the Christmas money that I have left over, I'm going to either get Minx or Anastasia because I believe those are also like really pretty illustrated editions. And on Sophie's website, they are signed as well. So that's exciting. I, th I think I'm going to go with Anastasia. But we'll see. Um, I might end up buying both of them. You never know. But yeah, that's it for my Christmas book haul. These were the books that I got for Christmas and I am so excited to dive into the ones that I haven't read or haven't read since I was a kid. That'll be so exciting to do over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, probably more like. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!